awfully close to your face. Whoa. <laughs> Welcome to our RV tour of the month. We are at Crestview RV in Georgetown and we're so excited to show you the Keystone Cougar 30 RKD. So you've got a 30 foot travel trailer, rear kitchen design, and it's a really nice kitchen design, let me tell you. We've already taken a peek inside. You've got 7,500 pound gross weight on the travel trailer. 2,000 pounds cargo carrying capacity and a hitch weight of 955 pounds. So it's pretty doable for a lot of vehicles out there and definitely gonna keep you under the, the uh, fifth wheel ranges. And like he said, we've already taken a peek inside and right off the bat, my two favorite things are the kitchen counter space. Usually in travel trailers, they don't have the middle island, so your kitchen counter space is non-existent. Yeah. But this one has the kitchen in the rear and you'll see it, it's great. The second thing I loved is the amount of room in the living area, kitchen and dining room. It's just, it's massive, it's, it's large. kind of that open concept feel yeah. that's so popular. So I walked in and was really surprised at the room that it has, so we're excited to show you. You ready to come on in? Let's jump in there. Let's do it. So this has a unique handle to open it, and I'll show you it as soon as this guy leaves. He's really interested in the tour. <laughs> You are not invited, sir. So yeah, the handle to get into this unit is totally different, like nothing I've ever seen. When we first tried to open it, we thought it was locked. It's, it shows you to do that, but there's one key trick that you need to be able to open it. You have to put your thumb here and then pull, and then you can get in. double sink and I love this faucet the high ones like this allow you to do so much more and it has a spray nozzle that comes off really nice more cabinet space up here and I like how they have the glass there that's a really nice little little upgrade and then it's got your basic microwave it's got a three burner stove and an oven and this cover is really nice when you're not using it you could put like a cutting board over here it just gives you a little more a little more counter space if you need it and it doesn't have a full-size fridge but we travel for a year and a half in our travel trailer with five people with this size fridge maybe even smaller I think smaller. it might have been a little smaller we were just fine so take a peek in there you can squeeze a lot in there it's definitely bigger than ours. Yeah. And the freezer. Okay, the freezer, probably not so much. <laughs> probably about the same size. But a very workable kitchen. I could I could whip up some mean meals in this kitchen, definitely. And you've got your basic dinette, seat four people here, and it does convert to a bed, so if you have guests, because this is just, basically this is a couple's trailer, there's a bedroom in the back, and that's pretty much it. But if you have guests, this turns into a bed. It's pretty comfy, it's very, Cushiony. Lots of lights, got three lights up here, plenty of lighting. So it does have the dark colors that I know some people are trying to get away from, but it's got the light color walls, so that definitely helps. So there are a few upgrade options on this trailer. I'm sitting in one of them. You can upgrade from the sofa to the theater seating. Very nice. Recliner, obviously. Uh, and then you've got the fireplace over here as another optional upgrade. And then a second AC as well. It's already wired for 50 amp and that second AC. So it is a, a 
a manual recliner, no, you know, buttons, bells and whistles, massagers, heaters, none of that stuff. It's just your normal pull and recline type of deal. And it works great. And I would sit here and watch anything and be really happy. <laughs> Less electronics to break. That's right. That That's always how I look at things because when I see electronics and bells and whistles and stuff, all I think is one more thing to go wrong, right? This is just a string that you pull basically. And it's, uh, it's low maintenance, low worry, low risk. Just enjoy. All right. You can take a nap now. So one of the most common problems that we hear RVers talk about is where do you store all the shoes? I know that was a huge problem for us with five of us in a travel trailer. Let me tell you, the shoes were taking over our life. If we kept them inside, they smelled bad and so shoes were an issue. But I love this. It's a spot you can sit to take your shoes off, which is nice. And then got this handy thing under here and this is where I would store our shoes. Get a rack to do like another level and that would hold a decent amount of shoes for sure. So, and it's closed off, so the smell goes bye-bye. It's little things like that that kick up a notch your RV living and your RV vacationing just a little bit. Oh, and there's a mirror so you can look good while camping. I mean, that's important, right? Let's squeeze into the bathroom. This is the main entrance to the bathroom. Come on in. This is a big, this is a good size bathroom. I really like it, and this shower, very nice. So for people who are tall, this would not be an issue at all. It's got plenty of ceiling height. A little skylight to give you some natural light in here. And on the sink, we've been noticing that RV manufacturers are starting to add little upgrades like different colors, lighter colors, and backsplashes. And this one has one in the bathroom here and the same one in the kitchen. And it's just simple little touches that like that that make it feel a little more like home. So I like that. But otherwise, it's your basic sink, medicine cabinet. And then there's also storage, quite a bit of storage underneath. And then the toilet and another little upgrade is just a towel rack things like that you don't think of maybe until you're on the road and you're like where do we put our towels so it's nice to have a little towel rack in here we had command strip hooks on the wall that's how we hung our towels but i would have preferred this hi right. so not only does this have a main entrance to the bathroom from the living area it has a secondary entrance right into the bedroom so just a simple little thing like that just makes it more convenient when you're waking up in the middle of the night and need to go to the bathroom or early in the morning the master bedroom this is a king size bed. It's a nice size bed. The thing that this doesn't have that I would miss are little side tables, somewhere to put your, your phone and you know alarm clock, but who needs an alarm clock while they're camping, right? Who needs that? But to solve that problem, probably just get their shelves that you could stick in the corner right there that stick, stick to the wall. So it's a, just a tiny thing, but there's a simple solution to that. So we've got storage up top, we've got a nice little headboard, and you each have your own personal window. This closet is massive. <laughs> I like it. So go take a peek in there. Plenty of space for clothes and shoes. It's really deep. Very deep. One of the deepest I've seen. For sure. You could put a laundry basket in the corner for your dirty clothes. More storage in the master bedroom. Got this nice dresser. And I guess you could have a TV. Is there a TV mount in here? Oh yeah, TV right here. If you want one in your bedroom. But four drawers, four deep drawers in the master bedroom and counter space and then a cabinet over here. And as Todd mentioned, one of the upgrades to the basic model is an air conditioning unit in the master bedroom. So I would say that would definitely be worth it to upgrade to a second air conditioning unit and even more storage space this is like a dream come true i mean goodness this is nice we could travel extensively in this model and be perfectly comfortable we'd have to ditch the kids though what are we saying so one of the things that is always a shock 
for me and a pleasant surprise walking into a couple's trailer like this in a you know rear kitchen design is just a drastic difference from the bunkhouse model that we traveled in that was designed for you know sleeping five to seven people so everything else has to be cut back you don't have the same living space you definitely don't have the same kitchen walking into a couple's trailer like this it is just night and day and it just makes me go okay i really want to experience that one of these days because it is a good feeling and like a true living space that you can enjoy so i don't know what your favorite things were but mine have stayed the same as i mentioned at the beginning the kitchen i love the kitchen i love the counter space i love yeah. the storage space and i have reasons to love the kitchen too not that i would use it all that much except to make my oatmeal but um but i know what you can whip up in there yeah definitely and then just the amount of space in the living area and i can just picture us reclining in these theater seats which is an yeah. upgrade i think we already mentioned that we reclining in the theater seats with the fire place going maybe watching a movie glass of wine for me netflix binge yeah you know i'm ready to go camping that sounds pretty good to me <laughs> you're awfully close to your face whoa <laughs> it's probably the coolest thing for me that uh, i had an experience before is kind of the central command module this touch screen uh, command module for all your tank capacities your hvac yada 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 it's just really nice to have that all right there easy to access easy to control uh, user friendly it's, it's a very nice feature it's fancy yep super <laughs> fancy all right we hope you enjoyed the tour of the keystone cougar 30 rkd did i get that right she nailed it look at that i didn't think that. i didn't i didn't see that coming at all <laughs> but this is a great travel trailer for a couple who's wanting to just get out there and see what the u.s and canada has to offer there's lots to see out there and this is a great unit and let us know what you'd like to see next hopefully we'll be doing some more of these so do you want to see more travel trailers fifth wheels motorhomes yeah do you want to see class see? a's class c's like what are what, what do you need but thank you for watching Thank you very much. It's a, it's a pleasure doing this. We enjoy the opportunity to get into these things uh, and just enjoy them for ourselves, but then getting to share them with you is definitely uh, a huge benefit. Definitely. Until next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.